Salute, 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 salute to each and every one of y'all. Appreciate it. We back again. You know what I'm saying? Salute to everybody. Uh, at the end of this video, I'm going to be shouting out a, a few people name, names. And uh, y'all know why. But for right now, we got three things to talk about. Uh, update on Big Juke situation. Uh, of course, uh, I ain't trying to be too hands-on with this one. But I will share what I have learned concerning the setup, the play, and the, uh, where it began it. Second thing we got to talk about is we got somebody that that's coming on YouTube that's already on YouTube that y'all probably already heard but wouldn't believe. But we're going to talk about her name is Govan and uh, his venture into YouTube territory with his own page. And uh, last but not least, we're going to be taking a look at Dolph Crime Scene. And I want y'all to tell me about this one particular individual that definitely looks way out of place on Dolph's Crime Scene. To the point that if you've seen Hollywood movies, if you're big on movies, I mean, then you know how celebrities, well, not even movies, you know how when celebrities want to feel normal, well, I guess it is Hollywood, they're Hollywood in there, they'll uh, put on a synthetic synthetic uh, mask to look like somebody else. If you've seen White Chicks, the movie, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. So uh, that's the three. Those are the three things we're gonna be discussing. First, big jump, big jump. Eric Bovan uh, was uh, big jump, and got his mama's sister, they aunt, a uh, man. We all know who Eric Bovan is by now. Big King Pen of Memphis, all through the eighties. And uh, legendary, and uh, you know, supplied a lot of work. That's who Eric Bovan is. That's who funeral that was held at one thirty between one thirty and two o'clock on January thirteenth. Now, at this funeral, that was only listed for thirty minutes. There was two guys that was there to scope it out you know what i'm saying there was two guys not three don't ask me how i know that ain't your business but uh they already knew that's what they came for they were sent so from 1 30 to 30 was the funeral that's what got it that's where you see all the infamous photos at that was the big the big funeral now at uh fast forward uh they exited uh the building lot of gag in the parking lot or whatnot for like 30 minutes now i told y'all there was two white vehicles one of the one of the distraction vehicles was used in another crime we'll get to that in the next video because i want to isolate that one um uh, so they sat you know, that's when Gotti got on down right after the funeral, uh, saying that it was because of the weather. Big Jook stayed. Now, Sycamore View to Winchester is not that far. About, I mean, good 15 minutes or less. They make it to where the family going to meet up and friends go with the food. The uh, venue that they rented, the venue that they rented was where Big Zip lost his life at. Now, what's what's uh, interesting about this venue, it is literally <laughs> a mile down the road from Privé, Yo got his mom, restaurant, significant. It is also <laughs> uh, right down the street from... Big Moochie Grapes hood and a couple more people who Hickory Hill. Hickory Hill. 
you know, East Memphis. You know what I'm saying? So let make that very clear. Now, it was two crime scenes that day. Two crime scenes, two different vehicles went two different ways. One of the crime scenes, if y'all missed that when I showed y'all, was in the back of the building. One of the crime scenes was in the back. Now, all the surveillance cameras was in the front. Hence, two vehicles, right? Trust me. You know exactly what I'm talking about. And this is what we call planning. Now, the vehicle that y'all see, that y'all, that they got in this photo, is not, it's the vehicle they wanted y'all to see. Right? Hence, two vehicles. Now, with all the surveillance in the front, right? Tell me why MPD lost the trail on Winchester with all the damn surveillance. Anybody from the M-Town know damn well that shopping center specifically all up and down Winchester. Ain't no way. Man, I done flew down Winchester so much. Mind time, my red light camera, cameras on the pole, cameras in businesses. Like that is a major strip. That's a major strip. Now, somebody better tell me I'm lying. So, ain't no way that they would lose the trail of the vehicle. And that's that's the only thing that the police said. We have surveillance, but we still going through it. Okay, then. Say that bullshit for somebody else. Now, Big Jook, uh, we paint the scenario. A police officer said he was in the area and heard gunshots. Okay. That might be true. The witnesses on the on the scene said, uh, we seen the police officer and we flagged them down. That could be true and both of them could happen at the same time. Maybe he heard gunshots and didn't know where they was coming from. Okay. Let's fast forward. In the in 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 the uh <laughs> statement in the article that I found on com in the Commercial Appeal on the Commercial Appeal website they said that when the officer arrived suspect Big Jook I mean uh, yeah not the suspect but uh, Big Jook two people were shot Big Jook was in the vehicle when the officer arrived on the scene and uh, call for help. Now, if y'all seen the infamous photo, we see Big Jook on the ground with a, what appears to be family and friends. Somebody looked look like they was doing chest compressors, not the police. Now, if if the police arrived and Big Jook was inside the vehicle, then he didn't secure the scene. If we see Big Jook on the ground, right, with somebody else doing uh, CPR or whatnot. Okay. Now, the photo. Who was that close? And what association did they have to snap, to pull out their phone, walk up right there, snap, that photo and release it. If we can saw that. <laughs> then, then we can we can we can talk about something. But isn't that eerily similar to the photo where we see Dolph stretched out? These two incidents is uh, got some significant similarities, if you know what I'm saying. Both high profile, uh, no police uh, updates, no, 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 nothing, and uh, they was hit. They were strategic hits, and uh, since I'm since I'm gonna have to do the other video with the other truck, so y'all can understand, I'm just let that marinate right now. Now he died. He, he this was at four twenty three. They was followed. That's why I told you that. That's how I know uh, I do my research. 
and I know people. Uh, in the parking lot at the funeral for about 30, 25, 30 minutes, and then that caravan to the damn, uh, the repass. And that's where the shit was supposed to take place at. Now, since it's two vehicles and the venue, now, written, renting the venue and knowing the time frame of the repass will let some make somebody know where you're going to be at. Now, how did they know Big Juke was coming out, when he was coming out, and where they shot him at is right directly in front of the cameras on the venue. Now, why don't, <laughs> when the first place, because this camera's right in front of that uh, building, right in front, right directly aimed at where he was gunned down at. And where's that footage? Let me let me guess. The cameras wasn't working. Or they wasn't turned on. Or they malfunctioned at that day, at that time right there, right? Bullshit. But, you know, we're going to let that marinate. Now, um, we're going to leave that right there for now. Because in the next video, I'm going to show y'all the other crime with the other vehicle. And then we'll tie it all back together. And that's how I choose to do it. True. Let's get on to the next the next subject. All right, here we go again. Now, y'all remember the infamous uh, when I let the cat out the bag and showed y'all what they didn't want y'all to know to let y'all know what Govan was not inside the house on no on no damn house arrest. Oh, uh, y'all remember that? And I showed y'all the video. Uh, slow down. Uh, in regular speed of, of 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 him standing right there, not even flinching, as uh three people got shot. Remember that? Yeah. Well, that's uh verified. Now, I bet you didn't know this second part. In what you're looking at right now, is the same. What the title say? Man found dead in a car after Orange Mound shooting. Hmm. We didn't see that that night. But see, you got to keep your eyes on the prize and follow. Make sure you pay attention, especially after what I just went through again. You know what I'm saying? The murder game is for real. And uh, there's nothing to be played with. And uh, this is just a little, that's just a little follow-up to let y'all know. And I'm going to uh, break that down more too, but I ain't trying to do too much uh, once again. For what I just went through for the last four four days, you wouldn't believe it, and that's why I love the people that believe it, cause it ain't easy. Now, since we're talking about Govan, don't take a rocket science to see what was going on here. And the music industry is shady, and who's got it signed to? Uh, who 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 who's the big boss man? Interscope. Now, if you know anything about Interscope, then you know the great white sharks, you know what I'm saying, are deadlier than you can imagine. But uh, we'll say that too. Now, guess what you're looking at now? First go, man, ain't on no house arrest. <laughs> and he definitely uh, been spotted everywhere. Home Depot, out of town and shit, uh, no ankle monitor, uh, on the corner, the corner store in the hood, in his hood, in his hood uh, violating all his goddamn bond conditions and still free. Now, look at this shit. This, <laughs> this dude got his own uh, YouTube channel. Somebody done set him up on YouTube. Betting with quick. Yes, sir. It is verified. Now, who would do that and why would this be happening i mean ain't you outside enough you were not never on on youtube before hmm. right before the trial huh and betting betting we quit boy there's some power behind this shit man you know what i'm saying so why is this a infiltration is this to 
uh, do what you do on the streets? Is this the uh, what, what's your scent? Is this another move? What is it? I find it kind of goddamn strange and crazy shit I ever seen. And real blatant, blatantly shows us that it's some higher powers uh, setting all this shit up. That's why I be telling y'all, a lot of shit was going to happen uh, before March the 11th. And we got one more day in this month before February the 1st. So that man, we got approximately like 40 days or some shit like that before we see. And uh, that's too many days. Juke gone, Teasy gone, Dog gone, a lot of motherfuckers gone. It's a war in Memphis. Uh, motherfucker just, I ain't gonna say that one, go ahead and put that on YouTube. For the people that know what I just been through, thank y'all for reaching out because y'all know what's up. And it's real like that. If it wasn't for y'all, I wouldn't even be. Yeah, I had to take a hiatus. But uh, you got to start what you finish or what a man do. You know what I'm saying? You don't get intimidated. And uh, thank God that God is good. And uh, with that being said, that's what I wanted to show y'all. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Go Band is online now, YouTube. Uh, <laughs> y'all keep your eyes on this shit and let me know what y'all see. Because I got to keep my head on swivel. True. Let's move on to the, the, the third topic. Thank y'all for listening. Let's go. All right. What you looking at? What y'all looking at on the screen right now? What do y'all see? Do y'all see? Do anybody see anything? Like, is it the girl? What y'all see in this photo? Something is very, very out, uh, out of whack and abnormal about this particular photo. Because... I'm just, I'm going to give y'all a minute, because you got to be looking at what I'm looking at, and something is very strange, and uh, it's not the, the, the big black guy with his hand folded, he looks like he knows something going on too, he's like, look how he's looking at the dude in front of him, now this dude in front of him, he got that, 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 that body posture like uh, African American, right? I mean, his hands look kind of black, but clearly he has a white face, not a black face. Now, with a mustache, black hands, white face, uh, dressed like, <laughs> dressed like a, you know what I'm saying, like in the hood, where, where that's where he's standing at, amongst the hood. Now, that's what I was telling y'all about the Hollywood, you know, like if y'all seen the movie White Chicks. Doesn't this, doesn't this, isn't this spooky? Like, on the, that's not normal. Their face is like a rubber face or whatever they do in Hollywood. And, you know, they can do it. That's how them celebrities come outside and shit uh, and be amongst us and shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, with synthetic Faces and makeup and shit on. Hollywood good at that. So if you got enough money, you too can uh, be on the scene of, of the crime that you partially or may be responsible for. Now, since since we're just going to assume, we're just going to jump out there and just take it for what we see. Blow it up if you have to. Screenshot it. We know this ain't right. So what is this? And who is that? In a rubber face. <laughs> I mean, who who could this be? And why? And I bet you, if I go, if I take a day or two and go through all the the footage that they wanted us to see, because we know damn well we ain't got no exclusive exclusive footage from from the people that was on the scene. That's why I was telling y'all. They had to be working in teams out there uh, in strategic placements to control all that goddamn footage. And people already know in the hood, if you got something exclusive and all the time and all the hours y'all was out there, you can sell that shit. But until this day, we got voiceovers and bullshit, clips and clips of footage. 
that, that they wanted us to see. How and who has the manpower to uh, strategically control all them damn cell phones in the hood? The federal government, maybe? The music industry, maybe? Somebody, uh, why they say Govan is the alleged mastermind that was planted in June. That's Dolph. Dolph's still Dolph. You, you, you must have thought you had order. Or you must have thought, you must have knew that y'all was going to get away with it. Uh, and had some, some powerhouses supporting this hit. This hit on Dolph. To, uh, to do some shit like this. Now I guarantee you, he's not the only one, whoever that is. But like I said, isn't this spooky? You gotta have, you gotta have, <laughs> man, this is, this some weird shit. And I bet you he's not the only one out there. But that's a black dude, if you ask me. Maybe the makeup came up off his hands or something. He definitely don't have uh, what Michael Jackson had. Uh, uh, that's not no bleach skin or none of that. I think that's why that dude, <laughs> the real, but the other black dude is looking at him like that. I don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all think. But I, do, I just brought it to y'all attention to let y'all know everything ain't appears. Everything ain't what it appears to be. And this crime scene, this, 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 we don't even know if all this shit happened on the same day, man. Hollywood, Hollywood, Hollywood. That's why this shit looking more like a production uh, than an actual goddamn <laughs> real crime scene. And uh, with that being said, let me uh, appreciate y'all for listening and tuning in. I just wanted to come back strong and let y'all know what we're going to be. Uh, breaking it down with some more we're gonna be talking about uh and i got a lot 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 more shit some real shit um uh, so we're gonna have to y'all gonna have to stay tuned and stay focused and stay supportive and uh with that being said since we're talking about support let me uh call these names out for these generous people that all oh, never seen never cease to amaze me with their loyalty, their care, and their support, especially when I need it. And uh, I can't thank y'all enough. So, salute to these people. Names I'm about to call. Jason R. Salute. JJ the second. James Johnson the second. Salute. Nisi. Salute. James G. Salute. Michael H. Salute. Anthony R. Salute. The way the way beyond the way Von C. Salute. Um, Bruce. Salute. Otis. Salute. Marcus T. Salute. Willie Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. Big Big. Salute. Dazon. Salute. My boy Dazon. What's up? Stan. Steel, salute. Sheila, hey, salute. Jamar, salute. Rod Rodriguez, L, salute. Tanya, how you doing, my salute. Mark C, salute. Dishman, salute. Dion, Dion, Dion. Big, 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 big salute to you, Dion. I'm talking about much love and respect. Rocky, the Prince. Big salute to you too, sir. Sir. Uh, Amina T, salute. Verna L, Bobby P, Seymour Landscaper, salute. Ross R, salute. D and D, salute. Dwayne Myra, Kenneth K, Don, Don twice. Don Don, Don Don. Big salute to you two times, sir. Richard Kino, uh, Mello. Salute to all y'all, man. I thank y'all very much. And my family does, too. Um, y'all are y'all the people that, you know, like I left my email, uh, text text number to text, and my uh, IG. 
And the people that really cared stood up like a family supposed to. And from the bottom of my heart, I sincerely appreciate appreciate y'all, and so does my mother. And uh, update, God is great, you know. He survived miraculously, but that's what God does, work miracles. So we good, and I thank y'all again one more time. And um, salute to everybody else that, 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 that offer more support. You know I love everybody. I don't take nothing for granted, not even the breath that I'm using now because it could be gone just like that. Uh, like, share, subscribe. I always support um, for anybody out there that wish to donate to the cause, the uh, family, um, to me. Cash App is just simply true results number two. Look for the red hat and just do the best you can do because I love y'all. And that's all I'm going to say. Until next video, thanks to everybody for tuning in, listening, and understanding. And I will see y'all soon. True.